Hello internet, my name is Ace and today I want to talk about creating a poster for like a movie or a play or something like that. Now, this graphic design is something I not normally do. It's not something I ever profess to know a great deal about. But I got asked to do this for a, a play that's happening called The Wonderful World of Walt. As you can see, down the left hand side, I find it important to list the things that are like vital to to this piece now it's actually set in aladdin times it's about the wicked queen blah, the wicked queen's crown and it, it goes a bit to pinocchio times a bit to toy story times but it's mainly set in aladdin and it's based on fantasia so as you can see i do thumbnails first which are not about doing pretty art at all they're just about getting rough scribbles down to to kind of uh, imply uh, to just get your ideas down to see if they work or not I kind of wished I'd have done the Pinocchio one on the bottom right a little bit further uh, with Pinocchio with Mickey in his Fantasia dress kind of sound top that would have been cool but uh, so what I do is I do a ton of thumbnails and I did the Fantasia hat in the top right with the, with the uh, Evil Queen's crown kind of sat on top of it I didn't, didn't really like that at all actually so you can see some of them like the evil queen down the below but with Mickey in, in her face I didn't like that so I just put a cross next to those ones so yeah you need that list on the left hand side to, to really just explore your ideas even write even more things down from them but uh, as you can see I'm trying different things like the silhouette of Mickey but with the with the crown but I kind of picked then three and kind of tried to refine them slightly more to kind of just get a feeling of, of what those things would look like a little bit more, as you can see how it sucks under that one, which it kind of does. And this one was like having the crown, silhouette of the crown, which is very important, with uh, Mickey and I think there's something to do with the book. There's probably something to do with the book as well. Um... Obviously, is if, if I've drawn that in there, I kind of like that idea of of having the the crown silhouette with Mickey, but I really liked the idea on the right hand side, which is having the that like castley thing from Aladdin as as like a silhouette on the crown. And then I thought about putting Mickey on there, but it just unbalanced the image somewhat. So I tried putting the book there, moving it around to kind of balance the image off a little more. But it worked better without Mickey because, like I say, it just threw the, the image off to the left-hand side. So I decided to go with, with that idea and started drawing just a uh, more refined version of the crown. I just put the, the whole um, symmetry thing on in Sketchbook just to, to get a s symmetry kind of thing with the crown. Like, I don't really like symmetry in artwork generally like drawing faces and stuff like that. I hate it when the the left hand side of the face is symmetrical with the right hand side because it's just not how it happens in real life but this is like more graphic design kind of work and and it kind of called for the for the even approach and like I say this is not something I normally do I, I would never think really of doing any graphic design work but it was just the theatre company asked me to do this and I only had like a couple of hours to do it so it was a very quick rough thing I wish I'd have kind of um, there's certain things I, I wish I'd have maybe done a little bit better but that's the power of hindsight so now what I'm doing is I'm going through the, with the pen tool in Photoshop and tracing the points of the crown to be able to make a mask and then I I didn't actually record the the creating of this watercolory kind of looking thing I basically just went in uh, I think art rage and or maybe I did it in Photoshop actually I can't really remember I, it's, I basically just painted I had a, back, a purple background and painted some pink over the top of it that's essentially all I did so here I wanted to refine the the castle a little bit more like I'm not copying it exactly from how it is in the in the um, original Aladdin because I just wanted to kind of hint towards it so you knew what it was but to have a really strong silhouette and 
So it, it was about the silhouette more than it was about actual accuracy. So as you can see, I cut out the bit where I traced it with the pen tool. But I basically just did what I did with the crown, just traced the, the thing. And I'm moving up and down here. I was just moving that background layer to kind of see where I wanted that pink to fall. So it felt more of a like a, a sunset kind of thing. And now that line at the bottom was just really boring and flat. So I was just adding a bit of like foliage to kind of add a bit of interest. Then I was down to the font. Now, again, I would probably write, if I had loads of time and if this was something I was super, um, I was doing for myself, that kind, that kind of thing, or, or this was what I did for a living, I would uh, probably do the hand do the the script the t the text uh, I would I would just draw the text out so it's kind of playing with that and I preferred the being over there because it kind of looked a bit wonky when it was over the W so you can see the kind of final image now you can see that there's a lot of white on there and that's just to leave room for the uh, the date the time the price all that kind of stuff so this was kind of the image that I sent to them so right what do you want um, do you want anything changing? And what, what text do you basically want on there? And they said, no, that's fine. They used this poster and they just wanted the, the times and uh, the prices and stuff putting on there for the for the tickets. So, yeah, so this is how I would basically kind of approach this. I mean, I would maybe come to a, a different uh, conclusion, but I would still do the same method of, of doing the thumbnails and, and going through... Uh, the brainstorm and then the thumbnails and then refining it and then actually doing the final image. So if you've got anything from this whatsoever, tickle the old down below, so click the subscribe button, the like button. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get, um, get back to you. And yeah, just check out my other videos. I've got videos more to do with illustration, perspective work, drawing and things like that. But if this has been something different and you, you kind of enjoyed that, let me know and I will look into doing more stuff like this in the future. Okay, till next time, take care, have an awesome time. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.